Hi and welcome to another Laravel tutorial. Um, in this episode I'm going to be trying to um, put a Laravel app into production in less than 10 minutes uh, from scratch, which I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do because I've literally unlinked everything so that I can do it as if you're doing it when, when you try and do it. So what I'm going to be using is GitHub, Forge, uh, DigitalOcean, and then um, let's encrypt for the SSL. Uh, I've just bought a domain, uh, codingiseasy.info, just to play with this. So let's see if we can get it live. I did do, in my last video, I did um, put in your Laravel application onto GitHub for the first time. So if you've not seen that and you don't know how to do that, uh, I'd suggest watching that first. So what I did is I, I just got a blank Laravel app and put it onto this repository here. So this is the one that we're going to be putting on to the domain name. Um, if you've not used Forge, it's Laravel's own deployment software. So it's just an easy way of um, putting something onto a server without having to spend hours provisioning it and putting certain things onto it. So the first thing that you need to do is to put your digital ocean API token onto uh, Forge. So what you do is come to your, if you go to your account section and then API, on, you can just click on API on the left and then do uh, generate new token. I'll just put code in is easy for now. <clears throat> and I want to give it write and read so that it can create new servers. So then you get this um, token here. So if you just copy that, So you can you can give it any name, so I'm just gonna call it coding is easy. And then paste in the API token and add. So that's added there. So now we should be able to create a new server. So if you click on DigitalOcean at the top. I'll just call the server coding is easy. And I'm gonna put it in London. And the, just the, I'm just gonna use the cheapest one, but these are all the options for the server um, hardware. So I'll just use the cheapest one, PHP 7.3. Post provision recipe, I'll just leave as none. Uh, database. If you select this, it will create a database for you with on the, uh, with the name of Forge. And then when you actually put your website onto it, it will already set up the connection to it in your .env file and everything. So it's, it does a few things to help you out. Uh, I leave uh, leave provision as load balancer unticked because we're not using a load balancer. And then I have I just leave this unticked. If you want to set up backups, you can do it at a later date. So then it gives you your sudo password and your database password. So the next, while that's provisioning, it takes a few minutes to provision. Uh, we will set up the domain name. So I've just bought this domain, uh, codingiseasy.info. And I'm just, you, if you select name servers, I've already got mine entered by default, but these are the two name servers that you need. So if you put um, ns1.digitalocean.com into the number one and ns2.digitalocean.com into number two, and then it won't let me save because I've already got it saved, but that's literally all you need to do to set it, set it up on the, uh, the main side. 
Uh, I'll put a link in the description to Dynadot if you want to use theirs. They're, they're really cheap for domains. I've used them for about eight years. Uh, so then, while the server's still provisioning, it might let us set up the networking. So this is the part from your domain to your uh, server. So we need to set up the um, DNS. So what you need to do is, in this section, put in the uh, domain name. And we want to do the domain name and the www dot version of the domain name. So it's coding is easy dot info. Click add. <coughs> and then you come to this page here. So what you need to do is in the host name, you just put an at and then will direct to, and then select coding is easy. The, the one that we've just set up. I've got a few of my personal stuff on here, so I'll probably blur out that. And then create record. And then we want to do the same again, but for www. So if you do network. So that's the bit with the www dot in front of it, just in case people type that in, because a lot of people do. Then click add. <coughs> and then the same again, you just need to put an at, and then will direct to, and then you, the server that you've just created. So that's that part set up. So we've got our domain now pointing to this new server that we've just set up on Forge. So now we just need to put our code onto the actual server. <clears throat> so then what we do, I'm just going to refresh that into a new tab so that we've got the uh, suit, the passwords in case we need them. So then if you go on the um, servers, then select the one that you've just created. It's still provisioning. I'll probably speed this bit up until uh, it's finished provisioning. So what we're going to need to do once the uh, server's provisioned is add GitHub to your Forge account. So you just go click on your name at the top right and then go to source control and then connect to GitHub. And it, it might ask you to confirm, but I've already done it in the past, I think. So it's just set up automatically. So I'm just going to delete this test one that I've just done, just to show you how I did it. Right, so th this is a screen that you'll see when when you first come af to the page after your server's been provisioned. So what you want to do is put your domain name in here. And then leave this blank. Um, Leave this as general PHP Laravel and leave this as public. And I usually leave this unticked unless you're planning to specifically use subdomains and leave it unticked. <coughs> that takes a few minutes just to set up. I think you can click into it while it's doing it. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like and uh, subscribe if you feel like it's helped you. Hopefully by the end of it, it will help you. Uh, if you've got any ideas for other videos, uh, don't forget to comment and I'll try and do a new video for you. So then once this page is loaded, what you need to do is click on Git repository. And then if you go into your repository on GitHub, click on the repository and then after github.com, copy the path to your repository. 
and then paste that, select GitHub, paste it into the repository uh, input. Uh, leave it as master if that's if the master's the one that your live code is on, it usually is. And then leave this ticked so that it installs any composer dependencies. Um, that'll be useful for in the future. And then click install, hopefully it works. <laughs> so it's definitely doing something because it's trying to put the code on there. I think it's must at this point it must be doing the uh, composer install because some of the things are missing that it needs. It's not come up with an error yet, which is good. Usually by this point, if something's gone wrong, it would would have popped up with an error. It looks like it's done. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's it. That's uh, our site deployed. Uh, I don't think I did it in under 10 minutes. <laughs> but um, it's still quite quick compared to having to go on, get a digital ocean server from scratch and then start putting PHP on it and all that stuff and then configuring everything to work with the domain, it just makes it so much easier to get uh, an MVP product straight out there. Uh, it's really easy to set up SSL as well, so you can use HTTPS because Google's really strict on this now, so if you're not using HTTPS, your optimi optimization will just be shocking. So if you click on SSL and then use Let's Encrypt, and then just leave that as it is, it usually puts the right thing in there. <clears throat> it shouldn't take too long to do this, I think it's about a minute. Yeah, so it's installed the certificate now. It's just activating it. And that's that. So let's see if it's changed. So now when we refresh, it should change from not secure to HTTPS. Yeah, so that's working. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, if there's any questions, I'm not sure if I skipped anything out. I've done this quite a lot of times, so I tried to get rid of everything that had already been done and did it as from scratch but if there's anything you get stuck with just give me a message on the comments and I'll reply to everyone. Uh, hopefully if that helps you get your first site produ into production uh, give me a subscribe and a like and uh, I'll try and keep doing some more videos for everyone. Thanks a lot.